Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we're going to be unboxing my recent Dior purchase. I did pick up a few of the Dior Holiday Collection, and I will be using those products to finish up my look. So if you're curious to see what I picked up and how I created this look, keep watching. For today's video, we're going to be playing with some of the brand new Dior Holiday. So I did pick up one of the eyeshadow palettes, and this is in shade 589 Galactic. And then I picked up one of the blushes and this is in Galactic Red. So I'm really, really excited to play with these. I'm probably most excited about this blush. I do not have a Dior blush. I have just been waiting. None of them really spoke to me. This Dior holiday blush screamed Liz. So I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and unbox that first. It does come in this beautiful felt bag. I really, really like it. It's just, it's very stunning. Um, and then when you take it out, this is the packaging. You do get 4.5 grams. It is made in France. And then here is the powder. It does come with a little brush, but the embossing on this blush is beautiful, beautiful. It's like a globe kind of, I don't know. It's just really, really pretty. So I am really, really excited to try this. The shade looks like a perfect, perfect shade for me, the eyeshadow. Now I do want the other eyeshadow. The other eyeshadow is more my color story. However, I did order these from Harrods. I placed a Harrods order and um, this is all that they had. So I do plan on picking up the other eyeshadow, but here is Galactic. And this is a limited edition quad. So if this color story speaks to you, I would get it before it does sell out. So I'm really excited to try this. The Dior Holiday last year was absolutely some of my favorite Dior quints. They were phenomenal. So I am really excited to try this and see what kind of beautiful looks we can create. We're going to go ahead and start with the blush. I do have foundation on, a little bit of bronzer, but that's it. So we will start here. This is again, Galactic Red. I have no idea how pigmented it is, so I am going in pretty lightly. And yeah, it's pigmented. I feel like it looks a little bit patchy, so I am gonna buff. And that could be because I don't have enough powder on, you know, the so it's like sitting on the foundation. Um, could be the brush. That's pigmented though, look at that. It is gorgeous. And like I said, it feels extra bright and almost kind of patchy. I think that is because I didn't use a lot of powder this morning. And so sometimes when you're, you put something on top of a cream, so like my foundation, it just sits a little bit heavier. So I think that is probably why, but it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. I love this shade. I really, really love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on and then we can buff it down and make it a little bit less bright. Now for highlighter, I don't have like a Dior specific highlighter. I have this, this is a luminizer which I don't necessarily consider like, to be a true highlight, but I'm gonna use it like a highlight and we're just gonna put it on top of there. And then when I buff it down, it's gonna look beautiful. But when you first apply it, it is a little like scary <laughs> um, for lack of a better word. So now I'll just go in with my smooth buffer and we'll buff both the blush and that luminizer. Huge difference, huge, huge difference. If you ever get too much blush, you ever get too much highlighter, your best friends are gonna be a buffing brush or your foundation brush or beauty blender, you know, to just, to just go on top of it to kind of erase some of that color. But these will be your two best friends. Don't ever get scared, it's makeup. Just trust the process. So I do think it looks a lot better right now and I think oh, it's so pretty, so, so pretty. So now let's move into this eyeshadow and let's create a holiday eye look 
using this new quad or this new quint. Since it is fairly new, I am going to go ahead and swatch it. So I'll start here with this tan. And it looked like a matte, but it definitely didn't swatch like a matte. There is some sheen to there. Now I'm going in with this gray. I'll go into this black. There is some glitter in that black. Go into this dark brown or maroon. Dark plum, maybe? And then last will be the white. All right, so to start with, I'm gonna go into this light brown shade. And this is an A503 from BK Beauty. Now, BK Beauty is gonna be having Black Friday sales soon. I'm not sure when this video will go up, but I will link their brushes in case it goes up while they're on sale. But they, I know, I got an email, so I know the Black Friday sales are gonna be happening. All right, so that was really pretty. I think it's a perfect crease shade. I'm gonna lightly go into this plum. So using the same brush, we're gonna start at the outer corner and just kind of blend in. That's really pretty. That is a beautiful crease shade, those two shades together. Now the other color story has more browns in it and so it kind of just speaks to me more. But like I said, Harrods didn't have it when I ordered and I am planning on picking it up. But I was just kind of waiting. I figured I didn't get this video up right when they came out so I might as well see if I can get it on sale. Because if you are new here, I don't, I don't get along with Dior. Um, I cannot shop from their website. <laughs> it's like the Dior website hates me. I've tried ordering so many times and it just, they will not accept my money. So I'm like, okay, fine. I won't order from Dior. So I have to wait till the quads or the quince and the palettes and stuff and go to a different, a different retailer. So there's the eye look right now. Beautiful. I... Love it. I'm going to take a Chanel crease brush. I'm going to go into this black, but I'm going to mix it with the gray. I don't want it to be too deep. And you can see, I don't know, I'm going to try and scoot in. If you can see that gray under it, it's so pretty. Wow, it's like peeking through because it's got that shimmer. But this black is definitely, definitely more holiday. A little bit more glam. Black shadows used to scare me, but I've kind of just learned through the years. You just go in really, really lightly, work and build it up that way, and it's better. So now I'm going in with that first A503 blending brush to blend the crease. We're going to go into that white now. I'm going to take a Sonia G worker and we're going to use this on the inner corner of the eye. This is really pretty. I was not sure how I would like this palette, but it is very pretty. That white really, really brightens up that inner corner. And again, I'm just gonna blend the crease. I'm gonna take a rougher number three, take that plum shade and take it under the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and put some mascara on off camera and I'll be back so we can see the finished look and then we'll do some swatch comparisons. Here's the finished look, the blush and the eyeshadow 
I really, really like it. I am very impressed with the Dior holiday this year. I thought they did a really good job. So now I'm gonna swatch some blushes. So first I'm gonna start with the Dior. Again, this is Galactic Red. And I pulled out several shades that I thought might be similar. So I'm gonna start here with the Hermes. This is Rose Few. And it's lighter. Next I have Gucci Warm Berry. That's a little bit closer, but still has a different undertone. This is the Sicily Paris Rosewood. That was a horrible swatch. And that is definitely more purple. This is the Chanel and Brune Rossi, which I did just drop. Thank God the product is still in one piece. Um, I might have broke the packaging though. <laughs> Oh, what are you going to do? And that's more brown. I've got a couple here from Suku. These are the melting blushes. And this is number two. This is, looks like it's going to be more pink. Yeah, that's way more pink. I have number seven. That's close. So here's the Suku number seven. And then this is the Dior Galactic Red. But still a little bit. This one has, I feel like, a little bit more brown. And then last is Tom Ford Ravish, which you can't get anymore, but I thought it might be similar. It's close, but not the same. So that makes me very happy. I'm glad to know that I don't have really anything in my collection that is exactly like a dupe. I think the closest would be the Suku number no. seven or the Tom Ford Ravish. Let me know down below what you guys think of this new collection. Did you pick it up? Were you waiting like I was for a sale or to see swatches? I do think that it is beautiful. I really, really do. I think that the color story for the eyes is a beautiful. That black is really, really pretty. And it's light enough. You can go in light enough where it's not scary, but I'm positive I could have built it up a lot more. I do think that this blush is beautiful, beautiful, and I will definitely be reaching for it a lot. It is definitely my color story. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.